this is Radhika. I am going to discuss about the power electronics devices. Uh, this uh, is the subject of uh, fifth sem electrical students. Uh, this is the uh, C18 curriculum and the subject code is 18EE 503E and B. It is the elective subjects. Uh, in this, uh, we are going to discuss about the thyristor family of devices. So, mainly the power electronics is the uh, very very important subject nowadays because uh, using of these devices we are using controlling or converting of power supply and in this in this uh, we are going to discuss about the importance of power electronics devices and uh, types of power electronics devices so here um, these power electronics uh, devices nowadays we are using uh, before means uh, in 1950s they are using the vacuum tube rectifiers so replaced by uh, semiconducting devices these power electronics devices are is are the uh, semiconducting devices so in 1950s they are used semiconducting uh, devices in place of vacuum tubes so due to the improving the efficiency and the reducing voltage drop from 30 volts means a vacuum tube to 2 to uh, 1 to 2 volts semiconductor diodes the silicon control rectifier means scr was invented in 1956 and was commercially introduced by general electric uh, company usa in 1957 due to uh, its invention, a few branch of engineering means power electronic has been created. So in mid means uh, 1960s, uh, BJT based were used at high frequency approximately 10 to 20 kilohertz. Hence, a practical efficient and a lightweight uh, DC regulator became available. In late 1970s, the MOSFET was invented and uh, these are operating uh, high frequency means uh, uh, 200 kilohertz to 1 mega hedges. Hence, um, highly efficient low power converter were re realized. In 1980s, further improved the converter efficiency uh, about uh, 90 percentage by using of IGBT due to the reduction in uh, on stage voltage drop and uh, uh, losses which was present in MOSFET. The gate characteristics of uh, IGBT are same as uh, MOSFET means it is the MOSFET means it is the low power and low voltage. And on state characteristics are like SCR. Uh, ultimately, in 1992, mass controlled thyristor means MCT was developed, which can act as a ideal switch as it has uh, features like IGBT means uh, per gate characteristics and SCR on state characteristics. Both turn on and turn off are smooth and controlled by a positive and negative low power gate signals. Present today, SCR can have voltage rating up to 10 kV and RMS current rating up to 3000 amperes with power handling capacity of 30 MW. It is expected that in this millennium century, the generated power will totally flow through these devices. Actually, what is the concept? Mean actually, what is the main concept? So, power electronics uh, belongs partly to power engineers and partly to electronic engineers, which deals with an efficient conversion and flexible control of 
electrical power uh, for various applications the special type of power semiconductor devices are used for this purpose nowadays the need of conversion of energy has made it mandatory that the energy in all the systems be utilized efficiently power electronic system offers the most um, cost effective mean of achieving this goal so power electronics deals with conversion or control of electric power by wave shaping of voltage current or both using um, fast switching power semiconductor devices the control techniques require the switching on and switching off of these devices so in this main the power electronics has the uh, conversion or control of electric power conversion means it converts ac to dc or dc to uh, ac control means like it works as a switch on and off so using of gate wave shaping of voltage or current or both using fast switching uh, power semiconductor devices so here this is the uh, diagram for how it will be converted so in middle is the power electronics device means con uh, converter control converter or control devices the input is the power supply ac or dc and uh, uh, output is the load electric energy utilization system in case of the power electronics device is converter the input is input is ac supply and output is dc supply because the con converter converts ac to dc so same as the inverter converts dc to ac here dc is the input ac is the output next the power electronics uh, devices has the uh, few advantages the advantages are high efficiency due to low loss high efficiency due to low loss in this uh, power electronics devices the power loss is very low so due to this reason uh, the devices are very high efficiency and uh, next is the high reliable so these devices are um, low loss and high efficiency so it is the high reliable and uh, next is the long life and less maintenance so these devices maintenance is very less and it has the we are using the so many years means it has the long life and the devices also very small in sizes and the weight also very less and these devices are low cost and fast dynamic response the fast dynamic response means uh, when the signal are going to gate terminal it will uh, access early means fast dynamic response and the power electronics devices uh, as the few applications these devices are used in residentials uh, transportation telecommunication and commercial also in residentials we are using in cooking purpose lighting space heating refrigerators dryers etc so the devices will be means uh, we have lot of uh, devices in in the devices we are using cooking purpose lighting purpose space heating refrigerator and dryer purpose and also used in transportation means transportation uh, we are used in uh, street cars trolley buses subways etc and also we are used in other uh, transportation vehicles also and also uh, used in telecommunication telecommunication means in we are used in battery charges power supplies etc and also we used in commercial purpose means advertising heating air conditioning ups etc so we are used in advertising purpose heating and air conditioner acs and also ups the ups will um, used as a inverter means the inverter will converts dc to ac and a list of power electronics devices with symbols so in this class we are going to discuss 
uh, about for electronic devices and owned symbols in next class we will discuss the briefly uh, each and every device so here main main is the scr scr means silicon control rectifier so this uh, scr is the very very important device uh, in all electronics and also uh, this device will be uh, hard like hard in this power electronics so next is the diac means uh, bidirectional diode thyristor means diac means it is the uh, using ac ac signal in bidirectional and the triac means it is the bidirectional triode thyristor and also sus means silicon unidirectional switch silicon unidirectional switch that is the sus and sbs means is the silicon bidirectional switch gto scr means gear turn off scr laser laser means it is the light activated scr so uh, these are means scr diac track are very very important in uh, our our topics and uh, these all will be discussed in next classes and also we have another uh, devices like AS ascr means asymmetrical scr and rct means reverse conducting thyristor uh, sit ss means static uh, induction thyristor and ses means silicon control switch so uh, these are the main important uh, uh, power electronics devices we are used in power electronics subjects so now we are going to discuss about the symbols of uh, symbols of uh, these uh, devices and this is the first symbol for scr silicon control rectifier so in this uh, uh, symbol we have the uh, anode cathode anode for a and cathode for k and it has the gate terminal anode means it is the positive signal cathode means it is the negative signal and gate is the signaling of uh, uh, current or voltage and uh, next is the diac diac means it is the bidirectional diode thyristor in it has the uh, terminal t1 and t2 it has the no gate and symbol like this next is the uh, triac triac means bidirectional triode thyristor so this is the uh, it has the t1 terminal t2 terminal and gate so diac is the uh, uh, this diac is also called as a gateless triac and uh, next is the gto scr means gate turn off scr so it has the two symbols uh, first is the it has the anode cathode gate and it has the one uh, cross line at the gate terminal and uh, another symbol also anode cathode and gate so it has the uh, two arrows like symbol like this for gto scr next is the sus so sus is the uh, uh, terminals anode cathode and gate symbol like this and uh, the sbs means silicon uh, bidirectional switch so uh, this is the symbol like uh, t1 t2 means terminal 1 terminal 2 and gate so symbol like this and uh, next is the ses means silicon control rectifier in this uh, we have the four terminals anode cathode uh, cathode gate and anode gate so and laser so it is it is the three terminal anode cathode gate and uh, it has the light rays when the light rays will falls on scr it will be activated next is the uh, acr means symmetrical scr so uh, in this also it has the anode cathode and gate terminals and the symbol is black and white uh, portions in scr and also next is the rct means reverse conducting thyristor so it is also has the three terminals anode cathode and gate terminals 
and uh, we have the one um, cross uh, cross line uh, opposite to uh, gate terminal so next is the uh, 11th is the si th means static induction thyristor so in this also it has the three terminals anode cathode and gate and here is the one cross line at uh, gate terminal so this is the photograph view of scr devices so the the uh, the scrs means uh, the power electronics devices like this so uh, uh, for uh, to learn more about scr devices we are uh, we will watch one uh, youtube video from google so here mm,
So, uh, next, uh, these are the uh, diagrams, photograph, view of SCR. So, next is the summary. So, in this class, we learned about the power electronics deals with efficient con uh, conversion and uh, flexible. In this, uh, we learned power electronics deals with efficient conversion and uh, flexible control of uh, electric power for various applications. Any four uh, layer devices, PN, PN is called thyristor family, means each and every fa thyristor family device has the four layers, that is the PN and PN. So commonly used power electronics devices is SCR. So we have uh, here we have the few uh, quiz questions and frequently asked questions and uh, uh, so today this is the class for only power electronics devices. In next class uh, we will discuss another topic. Okay, thank you.